I called out Doja for dating a man who has hurt so many of my friends and myself. Doja replied with, I never have and never will give a f what you think about me or my personal life. Goodbye and good riddance. Well, that got real fast. Doja Cat has gotten into a war of words with a group of individuals you would probably least expect. Those people are her own fans. Fans of Doja took to Twitter to explain to the pop star that she is making a huge mistake by choosing to continue to date her current boyfriend, Jay Cyrus. A fan compiled a list of moments that highlight Doja's current boyfriend as a manipulative, cheating abuser. The fan hoped that Doja would hear her out and consider the following as a glaring red flag. And Doja did just the opposite. Doja lashed out at the Twitter user, blocked her, and then lashed out at multiple fan accounts. Doja made it very clear that she does not care about what others, especially her fans, think about her or her personal life. I believe this started as a domino effect, from the moment she said her previous music prior to this current Doja era were cash grabs and inauthentic. This includes music from Hot Pink and Planet Her. And for those that enjoyed that music from her and connected with those bodies of work, that comment felt like an insult. But still, her fans stuck beside her, just like they always have, from the racist accusations. Mm -hmm. Her shirt reminds me of a baby duck. And the racist song that leaked, and that was a big one. To public meltdowns, fans were still with her, as long as she showed them that she loved them the way they loved her. Even when Doja appeared to be ungrateful and insincere. Get it together. <laughs> Get it the f together. Her fans still stuck by her. But have her fans had enough? Have the antics finally caught up to Doja? Doja criticized her fans for adopting the term kittens as their fandom name. My fans don't name themselves shit. If you call yourself a kitten or f***ing kittens, that means you need to get off your phone and get a job and help your parents with the house. Doja says, my life, my rules, my style, my attitude. A Doja Cat fan account said, I want to hear you say, I do love you guys. As usual, you say to your fans. Doja replied with, I don't though, because I don't even know y'all. Another fan replied with, and we don't know you, but we have supported you through thick and thin. Mind you, you'd be nothing without us. You'd be working at a grocery store, making songs on f***ing garage band, Miss High School Dropout. Doja Cat replied with, nobody forced you. I don't know why you're talking to me like you're my mother. You sound like a crazy person. A fan account said, what should I change my name to since you don't like the term kitten? Doja Cat replied with, just delete the entire account and rethink everything. It's never too late. Doja replied again with you making my government name your screen name is creepy as f This has caused fans to wonder what caused this era and where this hate came from. It came as a shock to many and many fans reacted the same way and even this inspired her fans to write out this long drawn out tweet as a message directly to Doja. Reading, some of us have been here since 2018 and perhaps even earlier to watch you develop as a performer and artist and become the celebrity you are now. We stood with you during every incident you faced, including the one involving Larry Hill. And the fact that th I had to find this video while I'm drunk really upsets me. That pisses me the fuck off, bro. It makes me so mad. Cause you know what that does? That has 200,000 people who may be my fucking fans looking at that shit going, oh, she's fake, so I need to get my shit done. Noah Schnapp, the Herd vs. Depp trial TikTok, the Paraguay crisis, and the dispute over hashtag that song. We tolerated all that occurred up until recently while protecting, defending, and supporting you. We purchased your music, tour tickets, and merch because we enjoyed it, because it is ultimately your personal life and decision. We choose to remain silent during your previous romantic partners. Once more, when you were accused of being racist, we sprang to your defense. We once again defended you when you were accused of being racist and other wrongdoings because of the love partners you chose. For you, we have truly gone through hell and back. We do this because we truly love you, not because we want to be rewarded. We simply didn't switch up on you when information about your relationship with this new partner surfaced. How come? It's easy. Let's see, uh, he's a cheater, a predator, an abuser, a racist, and let's face it, jobless and maintained by you. You're out here blocking his victims, acting like a teenage girl with no rational thinking, and we're trying to help you open your eyes, let him go, and make you learn from your own mistakes. 
It doesn't come across as boss girl or as cunty as you think. It is insensitive and childish. If we are coming at this one man, perhaps there is a good reason why. The evidence is clear. There are victims there. I am at a loss for words with you. Sacrificing your fans, reputation, and self-respect while sabotaging your next era of success for a jerk. Open your eyes and take a fucking look at the impacts being with him brought to your life and how everything is going downhill. If you still believe he is a decent person in a healthy relationship, a good individual doesn't affect your life in that way. Please take a break, contemplate, recover, drop your music, and move on. We believe you are capable of far better than this. In the end, we are unable to direct your actions since yes, it is ultimately your choice. Our recommendation is to accept responsibility and stand up while holding yourself accountable. I'd say we as in your fans because apparently kittens is corny and whack to you now. Love you, but I don't know if you deserve that from me right now. I don't think it's necessarily that she hates you guys. I just think Doja hasn't accepted that she can't say just whatever she wants as an A-list celebrity. And I think she hates the position she's in. Not the blessing she's reaped from being in this position. Not the success, but the scrutiny, the expectations. I think she feels trapped. The thing is, if she wants to maintain her stature or success, she's going to have to learn to adapt and bite her tongue on some things because she doesn't want to fall into that Azalea Banks category. You don't want to be put in that Sabrina Claudio portal where we don't even know you release a song and we have to go out of our way to search your name on the DSPs because your buzz and visibility is low. Doja may think she doesn't care about what her fans think about her now while she's on top, but once that support leaves, she's going to feel how cold and lonely it gets. And I don't think she wants that. Because what happens when people stop caring? You're going to get dropped from the label. And from there, it's an uphill battle that few make it back from. Not to say Doja would fade into complete obscurity, but that situation comes with its own unique set of problems and challenges. I think Doja should continue to do what's necessary to make all the money she can so she can take care of herself and her family. She's extremely blessed to be able to make a living off music and have people care. And I don't think that's something that someone in her position should take for granted. Often they say it's better to be liked than to be right. Even if this is how Doja feels in her heart and that this is the right way to approach it, the numbers say this, and the public extends a lot less grace when they don't like you. They extend plenty of chances to those they like, even when they aren't putting out hits. And when the public decides they don't like you, well, things like this start leaking onto the internet. <laughs> Can't take it anymore. Like, literally, like, I like fucking i can't take it like you should honestly you should this take my asshole you should, my, you should take my asshole and you should fucking like make friends with it like it's a big deal <laughs> but with the direction of this album disrespecting fans and dating an alleged abuser and racist cause her to sell significantly less and fall from grace and what you do with this information as fans is entirely up to you but i know that person behind the music is someone that i don't know personally I can either choose to listen to the music or not, to care about her or not, and you have the same choice as well.